We spoke to Erin earlier and started by asking how it felt crossing the finish line in first place. It was um, an incredible experience, quite emotional, actually. Um, I've been trying to sort of keep it together <laughs> over the last couple of days. Um, and so, yes, yeah, so to come through and it was the, sort of the last few hundred metres, you know, I, I was getting pretty more and more confident that obviously um, the gold medal was sort of ours to win. And I started getting quite emotional on those last few bits. I think um, my coxing got a little bit, a little bit cracked. I wouldn't say tearful, but uh, I was struggling to hold my emotions and so when we crossed the line it was just uh it was such relief to be honest and um just proud of the, the crew to be honest I, I'd asked a lot of them in the race it was a really hard race um and it was just amazing to be sharing it with them all Erin I know you've got it there show us the medal come on and tell us how because you're still there it is look at that well done and you're still you're in the middle of treatment so physically how tough has, has all of this been yeah, it's been a challenge. Um, I'm not going to pretend otherwise. Um, I think mentally as much as physically, um, I think one of the biggest things to overcome is, is the uncertainty. Um, I think anyone who's going through any sort of treatment like this will, will resonate that you just don't really know how you're going to respond or, or what the treatment plan might look like for you. Um, cancer is different for every person um, and then your treatment plan might be different and then the way you respond might be different. So trying to manage myself has been um, probably the biggest challenge. Um, keep my head focused, keep my mind positive and kind of take it as it comes. But I've been really lucky, not had any really severe symptoms, just a lot of nausea, um, but no vomiting um, and kind of a bit of fatigue. So uh, it's something I can take. And I understand you are going to step away from the sport for a little while now, aren't you, to, to focus on your treatment. Do you hope you can come back afterwards, though, and keep going? Oh, 100%. Um, I'm calling it a sabbatical. Um, unfortunately, there are other people go do more fun things on their sabbatical. I'm just going to be um, <laughs> having chemotherapy. So I'm hoping by late autumn I'll be able to be back and doing, if not full-time training, um, the kind of part-time training with the team ready for next season. Well, a sort of obvious question, Erin, but how important is it to have those targets? Because you're, you're back tomorrow in the UK, you've got an appointment uh, there tomorrow, haven't you? But how important is it to have those, those targets for next year and then the Paralympics? Oh, I think it's essential. Um, for me, I am a planner, um, whether that's what I'm doing tomorrow or what I'm doing in 2024. Um, and it's been sort of the main driver for me to get through this period. Um, the Europeans was the big target for the season. Um, normally it would be the World Championships, um, which is happening in late September, but given the way my treatment's progressing and accelerating, I didn't want to slow the crew down fundamentally. I didn't want to slow the project down by lots of appointments, uh, lots of treatment and lots of fatigue, and it's not fair on them. And they've been incredible about supporting me and to some extent me stepping away is me supporting them and allowing them to go and fulfill their potential to the absolute maximum of their capability so they can go go to the world champs i'm putting my money on it they'll get a world best time out there um and then you know i'll be ready and waiting to jump back in that seat in the autumn it sounds like a, a terrific team effort all around so it's great to hear that, that you'll still be supporting them and i'm sure they're incredibly proud of you as uh, as everyone is uh, lots of people have called you an inspiration i think they're not wrong there so thank you so much for joining us erin well done thanks thanks for having me